Do you want to learn how to draw this adorable little mermaid? Well, then you are going to need something to draw on, something to create your doodle with, and something to erase any mistakes that you might make. And do not forget the markers or the pen to outline your doodle when you are done. And some crayons, colored pencils, or paint so you can add a little color to your doodle. Let's get started! One of my favorite movies when I was little was The Little Mermaid. So we are going to start with our paper vertical. So it is going to be skinny this way, but it is going to be nice and tall this way. That way we can fit in her fin and everything else that we have to do to create our own Little Mermaid. So I am going to start with a curved U shape here. And that is going to be her face shape. And on this side, I'm gonna make just a small little ear. And you can do one on both sides if you want. I think I'm gonna to try to have her hair kind of covering the other ear. So right here where this ear is, I'm gonna create kind of an S curve coming down into that ear. And then I'm gonna come in just a little bit with a kind of like a V shape here. And I'm gonna come out and continue down into that line. So now we've got what would be kind of her bangs, kind of wisping over there. And next, we're gonna come down on each side of her face and create her neck. So just two little lines. And then that's it for right now. I'm gonna come down from those two lines and I'm going to make two curved shapes. And these are gonna be the seashells for her top. So we're gonna make one, two, and then we're gonna come in at a slight curve and keep them connected in at a slight curve. So now we have the two shapes there, and then I'm gonna come in at an angle here. So we want it to have kind of a fanned out look. So you can go in and add a couple little lines for the shells. And then at the bottom here, we're gonna angle out and out, and then we're gonna just create a nice straight line across. And that will help create her little shirt. And we're gonna draw a line in the middle there to help connect them even more. So now I'm gonna come down from both of those shells and I'm going to come down just a little bit. Like we are talking maybe a half an inch. And that will be for each side of her stomach. And now I can come back up here and I can come out with a little curve out with a little curve and then I can curve around and down for her arms and I'm gonna stop about even with the stomach line because her arms are just gonna kind of be floating behind her tail so now right here I can go ahead and connect these with a nice U shape and I can add in a very small number six for a belly button and then I'm going to curve around here make a nice curved line and then we're gonna come down into our our, uh, fin. So what I want to do is I want to create this area where it kind of connects around her body. So we're just going to make what kind of looks like a belt. And then we're going to take this curve here and we are going to come all the way down and all the way around back to here. And now here, this is kind of where her tush would be. So we're going to curve around and then we're going to come in. And we're gonna curve back around to connect to the tip of the tail. So now we have what kind of looks like a genie. She's kind of got that tail like the genie would. So go ahead and finish your lines going down. So now her arms are just kind of hidden behind her back. If you wanna go ahead and give her some lines here so it's more like a bikini top, you can. I'm gonna add some lines just because there's an awful lot of space up there. That helps kind of bring it together a little more, I think. Next, we're gonna add in the flipper part of her tail. So we're gonna create a nice curve. And this kind of looks like a leaf shape. 
So it's a little bit of an organic shape, could kind of be like a teardrop shape. Mine's going off the paper and that is perfectly fine and there's nothing wrong with that. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna give her her face. So we're gonna start with her two eyes. And since these eyes are a little bit more on the smaller side, I'm only gonna give her one shine mark to help add a little life. But I am gonna give her two eyelashes in the outside corner of each eye. And then I can go ahead and give her her smile. Maybe she's got a little bit of a, a little sassy smile over there on the side. And then the last thing we're gonna do is add in all of that hair. So I'm gonna go where the part is over there and I'm gonna nice, nice big curve around. And I'm just gonna kind of maybe add a little curl there. And then I'm gonna kind of come down and do the same thing. Maybe another little curl. And then maybe I kind of finish her hair with some kind of pointy edges that kind of fade down. So this is where her part was here. So I want to recreate that V shape kind of right here. And then I'm going to do a couple of those little curls over here. Maybe her hair is just kind of super flowy and gorgeous. So there's all that lovely hair. And now we have our little mermaid drawn. Now we get to be really creative and add colors and try to decorate scales and do all sorts of fun things. So I'm going to show you how I plan to do my scales for my little mermaid. So I'm going to grab a marker and I'm gonna use marker and crayon on this. I'm going to do a mixed media. But I'm gonna start with my marker and I'm gonna come down here and this is the part that was gonna is gonna have scales. And I'm gonna make some U shapes. And they are going to go connected all the way across her body. Then when I get to the second row, what I'm gonna do is my U's are gonna connect in the middle of the U's before. So see how they're not going right now in the same part, they're going right in the middle. So I'm creating this look of kind of like roof shingles. And I'm gonna go all the way across. And the smaller you go, the more work you are gonna to have to do. So if you wanna make these a little bit easier, then maybe make them slightly bigger or make your drawing a little bit smaller. That's entirely up to you. So I am going to continue this. I'm going to speed this up and finish all of my little scales. All right, so now that I've got all of those little shapes in, I'm gonna take a lighter green crayon and I'm gonna color right over that whole section. And that will help add a little bit more to that design. And it gives us the look of having that fish scale without us having to really do a whole lot of work. So I'm going to go ahead and color this in with my green and then I can add in some shadows and do a whole bunch to help bring her to life. But that is how I'm going to add those scales to her. So now I'm gonna go through and finish coloring my little mermaid here. So grab your crayons, your markers, your colored pencils, your paint, whatever it is that you plan to color with. And let's go ahead and get started on making our little characters come to life. Look at how cute our little mermaid turned out. I can't wait to see how you decorated yours. Did you add something underwater with her? Did you have her sitting on a rock? How did you decorate your mermaid? I chose to just keep her plain old mermaid just hanging out. I hope that you had fun with today's doodle and if you did please like, subscribe, and share. Make sure you look for the giveaway that will be happening this Friday and comment below. I cannot wait to see you again. Have a great day. Goodbye!